Redis is one of the fastest in-memory data stores and is often used as a database, a cache, and a message broker. Here's a quick breakdown of why it's so popular and how it works. The main difference between Redis and a traditional database boils down to how and where the data is stored and accessed, which directly impacts performance. Most traditional databases store data on the disk, which is designed for long-term storage and retains data even when the system is turned off. This means reading and writing data from the disk can be a little bit slow. Redis, however, stores everything in the RAM, a memory unit designed for temporary high-speed access, allowing data to be written or read almost instantaneously. This speed is especially valuable in scenarios where performance is critical. For example, imagine you're working on a multiplayer video game application where player scores are constantly updated in real time. If we use Redis to score live leaderboard details, we can retrieve that data almost instantly. This allows players to see updated rankings without delays, even as thousands of updates occur every second. This would be much faster than using a traditional database, where each query introduces latency, disrupting the real-time experience players expect. But remember, Redis is not a replacement for a traditional database. It's perfect for scenarios where speed is crucial and data can be rebuilt or restored easily, but it's not ideal for data requiring long-term durability or complex relationships. A lot of applications use Redis alongside a database to get the best of both worlds speed from Redis, and the durability from a traditional database. Follow Uma Codes for more programming videos like this.